I can see your screen. Yeah. So uh, screens are uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, an object which is used to read the data and from a source and to write to the some destination files. Okay, in uh, Node.js uh, we have a readable stream as well as a writable stream, which are having the events like uh, data and error finish, like that. We are having some methods for it. Okay, so this uh, first to create a stream, we need to uh, uh, first of all we need to uh, for the file we need to create through the files we can create a stream. Okay, from file. Mm -hmm. So we have to go, we have to take the uh, uh, from the file fs module we have to take a method known as create read stream from uh, the create read stream is a is a is a method which is used to uh, i mean uh, create a new new stream on the particular path or uh, path we are going to give for it and also we are going to give the encoding format utf8 so yeah and uh, yeah and also we are have we are uh, going to have a uh, writable stream see in the uh, input stream uh, to create a stream what we need to do is we need to uh, go for the method known as create read stream inside the fs module so to create the project at very first initial point, what we have to do, we have to give for npm, we have to give a command known as npm init. Once we are giving that command, what will happen? It will ask for you all package name, description of that project, what for it, what for you are doing. And finally, it will go for the, and finally, it will go for the package dot, uh, it will create the package.json. In that, you have to do npm install space fs. npm install space fs will, will give you the, uh, I mean, total, will, will uh, give you the fs module and it will create the node modules, right? So, in the, after that, we have what we want to do in the very first time, we want to import our fs module to our, uh, to our variable. So in this variable, now this fs variable is is, is uh, um, we, we are going to write a stream on the fs variable that is known that is known as create read stream. In this create read stream, for the first parameter we want to give like the path of the stream where it is uh, where through on which file we want to start our stream. Okay, which file we want to read. Okay, so and also so the, some uh, some destination file also we have to give. So we don't need to mention the we don't need to create that file of the destination file. We just need to give the path uh, where the uh, I mean uh, where where we want to store the data. So here I have created two two uh, one is a readable and also writable. So two variables I am going to create. In this readable, what I am doing is I. I uh, uh, fs dot create read stream and then I am giving the path dir dir directory name is the home directory home, the home directory means this one the finish it wherever we are right now okay that's the uh, one of the node.js way of uh, uh, storing the current path okay underscore underscore directory name plus slash greet dot text so my grid dot text I am having some data I have some different kinds of data I have. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to send this this total data. I want to streamline all this data to a to one destination file that is the grid dot copy. Okay. So I want to now at, at the current point of time I don't have the grid copy dot text in my folder. Okay, in my path. So what I want to do is, uh, I just want to create fs dot create write stream and the current path where the destination path I have to mention. So once I am mentioning the destination path, so what will happen? Uh, then this will go when once we are doing the operation, the source files uh, data will go and sit in the destination file, right? So to go to do that, first we need to go for the readable dot 
on data is a method okay data is a method uh, for, uh, for in, 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 inside the streams stream is having data error finish like that it is having some methods okay this data method what it will do it will accumulate the data whatever the uh, whatever the file is containing okay so readable dot on data comma function i am giving one variable this is an uh, any this is some variable general variable you can give you can give a or b or whatever it is uh, java streams i am not uh, that much aware I think I think similar it would be. Yeah. 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 It will store the your voice is breaking. Uh, not strong. Can you hear now? Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, yeah. My battery is low. That's why I think. Yeah. Now you can. Hear. Yeah. Yeah. Now what yeah. Uh, we are going to do is, I am taking a method known as data method. In that, I am going to pass the uh, I mean uh, function chunk and I am going to uh, write those chunk whatever the data is said to the to the writable this writable is nothing but the path where the data is going I mean getting to get stored okay so okay now uh, what in this what this method will do is it will go and take the data of this readable and then it will copy and in, uh, it will streamline all this data to the writable variable okay so okay. let me show you how, how it will do it okay so yeah pw now uh, i want to run this file right once i ran this file since i am giving here console.log chunk Whatever the data is there available in this great text, right? That and all we, uh, is this one. Okay. So now I have got now the new uh, file, and also in this file I have I, have, I got the uh, whatever the data here in this grid dot text. All this data now I have got here, right? So that's how we can able to. Uh, read that uh, uh, data and streamline the data to the other targeting files okay this is like a, yeah this is just just like streamlining the one one particular file into the other uh, other destination file and uh, one more concept is here that is like uh, to pipeline the target as well as the target and source files so to pipeline a particular uh, file right we are we are we are having a, like a, a variable known as pipe okay so with this with this method this is like a pipe pipe method which will uh, read uh, which will read all the readable content to the uh, and and it will go and write into the writable content either you can you can do directly with this some with some function and you can uh, pass that if you can do with this uh, right method you can write into the uh, target destination you can do either in that way and also you can do you can pipeline the uh, i mean the readable to the writable uh, file right so okay. if i let, let me delete this one okay now if you see like i am not having that grid copy or destination okay destination file so now i am on i want to uh, take this yeah i want to take this out okay. so this now it's like a new file is created it's like okay. the Station and uh, yeah, it will it will it will streamline the data with the pipe method also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and also we have 
uh, one uh, small uh, pipeline uh, i mean piping concept with the streams known as uh, compressing uh, you can compress the files also with the pipes okay you can compress the files to the gz format or uh, whatever format tar tar dot dj g format if you are willing to stream streamline it you can able to streamline them so in this example what i have done is uh, first uh, now firstly what is it npm space install space install space fs fs right one more thing i want to give like npm space install space jetlib this is one more node library okay i have installed uh, if i can you can able to see those two here in this uh, package uh, json one second i will show you um, Okay. I think, uh, yeah. I don't really think so. Yeah. 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 One model like this package I can find like is like FS another one is like Jetlib. Okay, these two files okay. are there. and uh, here first uh, I have imported these libraries and uh, my very next step is like to get the get uh, to create create the read stream. Uh, read stream fs dot create read stream uh, i am going to get the data from uh, grid dot text so i want to compress this grid dot text to grid dot gz okay grid dot gz so what so my next step is uh, dot pipe jetlib jetlib is the module okay dot create zip create ggzip okay and uh, one more thing is uh, pipe fs dot create write stream dot text dot gz whatever the input library uh, i mean input uh, file the data it is there it will go and sit inside grid dot text dot gz and in the format of gunjip gz and finally we will get this uh, file compressed message okay. so this is uh, like node space node space pipe streams js so I have got this one and uh, I can able to see here gz the file is not displayed because it is in either in binary format yeah. okay it will be it will throw us some error because it is in gz right yeah okay I think, yeah so we'll get the grid dot text dot gz this will be having our uh, Grid file over there, right? Yeah, this is uh, one of the way of using streams. Uh, with the streams, what we can do, we can able to create. Uh, we we can able to copy the streams from the source source file to the destination file. We can send the data to the source file to the destination file. Not only through general function like write stream. You can also uh, pipeline that with the dot pipe method, and also you can compress if you want to compress a file uh, on the on the go. You can you can able to compress with the gz library, g uh, this uh, gz uh, gz uh, library through fs dot create stream 
input input file dot jetlib dot create create ggip and uh, fs dot create write stream this is our destination file in this destination file whatever the input file is there that that txt file should get convert with the data and it should go and sit inside this uh, extension txt dot zz yeah and that's the yeah that's the way we have to um, compress so yeah, let me try like this let's see yeah. I think uh, this is not purely Linux terminal. Uh, you try this one, one on your own. Okay, just uh, open this one and see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is about streams. One more uh, thing I uh, will see that is uh, uh, simple server creation. Okay. Like this. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, why was that other file not opening, sir? Why, what was the error actually? Ah, it's a binary, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, the binary, that's why it is not opening. You just go, to, you untar it and then see it. Okay. Now okay. we can do the file. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One more uh, example we have that is like uh, to create. Uh, one small application with the uh, navigations in general HTML navigations like uh, the so at very first point of time uh, when you start a project you have to start from the server creating the server okay so okay. Uh, yeah from server.js from this server.js you are going to start the application so here uh, I have uh, uh, HTTP URL path and FS this uh, four different uh, uh, modules I have okay HTTP is used for the uh, to do uh, to, to create the server URL is used to get the path okay and uh, path also is a, is a, it, it is used to get the particular path name and FS library to deal with the file systems fs uh, to read or write the file okay uh, first uh, i will i will i am going to handle all these kind of uh, i mean mime types like html jpg png js as well as css okay so uh, i just want to Sarah, we need to mention this yeah it's just a small project so you can see um, yeah, it's just it's just a small project like uh, which is your uh, if you, whatever the stream streams or data we are going to handle those uh, details only this mime types. So, okay, okay, yeah. mime type. So that constant any name we can give, right, sir? A mime type. Yeah, yeah, we can give, we can give any any name. Yeah. Right, you are right. This is okay. So now, uh, in this, this is the my total create create file server. Uh, in this create file server, this HTTP is coming from the what uh, we have already installed HTTP uh, dot create server function request and response, and it is listening to some uh, just give some nine thousand port. Okay. So that's the port number 9000. Yeah, yeah, 9000 is, is my port number. So we'll see what is happening inside this one. So one, uh, so first where I am going to uh, get the path name where URI equal to URL dot parse request, uh, request dot URL path name. Okay, uh, this path name is, is nothing but is our 
uh, which is coming uh, this uh, this parts is this parts are then uh, okay this one h ref about and uh, this will be handled here okay uh, this uh, all these parts are uh, handled with url dot parse this url is nothing but our basic url dot request dot url the first url whatever we are hitting right suppose if you are hitting uh, the server with slash let us think you are hitting a slash not, not slash let us think you have you are hitting with slash home right so it will take that particular path name okay that is like this request dot slash dot url and dot path name particular path name and uh, we, we are having a file name I, I am declaring one file name g equal to path dot join uh, cwd this is like uh, i am uh, um, going to what while uh, while i am uh, doing some uh, i mean um, uh, one 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 navigation to other navigation at this point of time this path will join uh, and this process will uh, start start moving on it will it's not, it's like a, it is a, like an uh, 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 two with, within the two parts it will it will manage the sync it won't overlap with one one after the other right Yeah, other one is like uh, I am going to get this uh, static sync l l static l l static sync the file name. Here it's like yeah uh, fs dot l static stat static sync. So what this will do? It it is used to uh, you know uh, um, it is used to get this. Uh, uh, I mean. Uh, latest static path uh, for where it is um, where, I mean where it is uh, uh, um, the current location of the file so, oh, it, okay. it's like, so that is predefined sir fs dot uh, yeah SST. what is that called latest see it will it will uh, it will get the current uh, file information the uh, lstat lstat is a uh, 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 current file information lstat uh, it's it's like a, it, it will work like an uh, see this uh, fs dot lstat method works like a, just a system call which is uh, which is used to which is used to call the information of the file and it will give us the file name i mean file details and all okay yeah these are the some uh, predefined configurations we want to do and uh, yeah. if there is any error we want to give, give the uh, response dot right head and uh, we have 404 that error we want to pass so, yeah if the if the file the current as i told stats is like an stats is used to for the uh, uh, to read the information of the file in the specified part, in the specific part. If the, if the file is present at that point of time, what I want to do is I I want to uh, get the file uh, and I, I want to uh, check on. I mean I want to pass that to the MIME types and I want to finally send it send this to the right header and uh, uh, at this this total the path is there now. This will be our content type. So, what is our content type? Our, our content type is like either HTML or JPG or PNG or JS or CSS. All this, uh, all this will, all these extensions will come into this MIME types, and uh, it will be, it will be, it will be working as our content type uh, while we are writing uh, in the header. Okay. So yeah, these are the basic configurations. Uh, we want to do and uh, one more is like where where file stream fs dot create read 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 stream so here uh, in, in this one is like our uh, file name whatever we are uh, passing okay 
that uh, the, the file name whatever as we as we see earlier there is a stream center luisa right the file name is here, right same same file name and uh, uh, we we are going to uh, read this is like uh, we are going to send this is total uh, file into the one response suppose if the stats is is if it is a directory we want to give the location to the dot uh, uh, ours is like it's a directory our file ever our, our fs is a directory means uh, we are in we are in into your folder right in that folder only we are having index.html so rs dot res dot right head 302 location which is, uh, is index dot html that's where the uh, application will start if not okay. application will get will give the will give an error like 500 internal errors okay okay so i will i will i will tell one more time this is like url first we want to create the uh, server request and response and we want to take the uri and which is like host name and and the path name host name is nothing but our local host uh, 5900 uh, and that particular path name slash home or slash or uh, you know so services dot html or about dot html whatever it is okay and uh, it will join the current working directory cwd means current working directory process is, is a internal command of the node which is used to do uh, uh, file so to, to process a particular file uh, it's a it's a cli command it is a cli command within the node which will do this kind of uh, uh, it will it will give you the current working directory path and it will join with the uh, uh, CR, uh, uri what we have mentioned okay and uh, uh, the very next one is like fs dot lstat sync which is used to do the system call which, which will internally uh, it will invoke the fs system stat uh, system call and it it will expect the file name uh, should be symbolic and it will finally it will return the information about the file the file link whatever we are providing so here what is a file link we, uh, we are providing is like file name so it will it will go and get the all the information of the file to this stats right so this stats is a, whether it is a directory or it is in uh, whether the path is a directory or if it is in uh, one one file or if it is a text file or whatever it is it will be invoked from here so if it is a directory it will go and uh, hit this index.html and if it is uh, if it is a file it will go and get get all these file details html jpg css or whatever it is and it will it will uh, invoke uh, and it will it will put them in one mime type and that would be our content type while we are giving the response to the header to the header or when we are doing any particular uh, response to uh, in the uh, browser so yeah okay. yeah and uh, and also we we, we uh, finally whatever the whatever the file we are reading that uh, that will be the that will be our input stream and we will pipe it to to, to our to, to our response so within this so in, in this response suppose if it is a uh, directory it will go ahead uh, um, right this uh, this uh, it will go and invoke this index.html if it is in uh, file it will go and the uh, get the i mean all these content types and then it will try to display on the file whatever the file it is let us take uh, let us take in some in some examples you can't able to load the image file but in, in our case we are we are we will be able to display images jpg png or js or css in our web browser to make it uh, to make to make that available in your uh, web browser you need to have all these mime types right so, okay. so yeah 
and uh, we'll we'll go for the home home uh, home dot html in this home uh, uh, i am i am having all this I, ha I have one bootstrap welcome okay so in this uh, bootstrap uh, i have got some uh, i have got some css bootstrap mini file mini file file oh. yeah. okay so uh, i just want to redefine or we are writing this this oh, no, 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 no i just copied from some other place okay. i just copied uh, yeah, it's like an some uh, 3000 lines code so we have to import import this to get all these details all this bootstrap to our how like we have we will do min, min css file we will import to our index.html right same wise same likewise you are aware how to you know, bring that uh, bootstrap environment for your project in general yeah in general how we how will do we'll go for the index.html there we will give the script file dot min dot uh, bootstrap dot min, min dot js whatever the version the current project is using that particular version will be really it will affect the total uh, application yeah. okay. right so here uh, i am first uh, i am taking one navigation bar uh, now 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 bar inwards and the container i am giving the nav bar header uh, i am going to give here uh, some uh, toggle uh, some toggle navigation and uh, i am going to uh, give like a uh, website uh, some website name some uh, I, just, I just want to do some uh, information so, so i just gave here so in this i am going to give give, give the three links actually the home link i just want to once i'm clicking on that home home mark link navigation it should go and hit this index.html right it is the current folder in this current folder what will be the uh, rendering elements means up to this right and also this the total will be rendering but uh, uh, our content is this one this is the welcome page this is the welcome page of some okay right so if if the if the user is clicking on the about about li i mean on not this are another list and li uh, and uh, here the second option he, he will he will go and view this about.html right and uh, finally if he is clicking on this services.html he will go and see, see this one okay so, yeah this is services page this is services page okay services okay and uh, here i am going to have here some some company right so i just want to see you now how it will uh, render uh, okay. UI. Just give me some time. Yeah. yeah so just start the. Uh, okay. Yeah. How we how we will start this one? Node space. Node. Oh, sorry. Server dot okay. Server. Server. Okay. Okay. So at which place the my. But the, I mean, the file is running. My uh, it's like nine zero zero is a port where the uh, I mean it's not it's now running currently, right? So local host here nine zero 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 right? No one more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So I I will be having home and about and services. So three different. Yeah. So uh, the, now this is running on the node server, right? Okay. Yeah. Likewise, it's a small project. Uh, if you are you aware of uh, how to create HTML and all? Yeah, yeah, I'm aware, sir. Yeah, yeah. That that will be advantage. Okay. So, likewise, this once you're clicking on this navigation, those respective uh, you know uh, HTMLs will be loaded. 
those okay. respective HTMLs, uh, HTF HTMLs will be loaded. One is uh, like about, about is nothing but this one, and uh, suppose home. home, home is nothing but uh, our main this one index.html. This is our home home content. Welcome to the home page. Yeah, welcome to the this is no server and services is nothing but our services.html, which will give the uh, information like this is service. This is this is the services page. Yeah, likewise. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you try to uh, do this in hands-on. So it should definitely okay. useful while you are doing and server creating. While you are creating a server, or doing some configurations, this will really help you uh, while you while you are handling the data in the browser, right? Okay. So so one more doubt, like in real world scenario, uh, like uh, in projects. Uh, so do, do we create the server uh, by ourselves? Uh, yeah, we have to create. Like, yeah, it's not like a, okay. yeah, it's purely open source technologies. So yeah, earlier, oh, okay. earlier it was like a, see earlier WebSphere and WebLogic were there, right? Or Tomcat. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So mostly people big uh, large scale applications. They will either they will choose uh, web logic or web sphere. So yeah. there will be a separate admins for for those two. Yeah. And before uh, this server was, and then yeah, yeah, this is like before uh, 2010, 2009 and uh, now once okay. it's, uh, open source even Apache Tomcat also there it's there for open source, uh, but this is like a okay. uh, note this like a simplest way of uh, creating. And also, uh, it has its uh, different advantages. You see, uh, like events, it has. As you see, there are many functions in it. Up to now, we have covered. So these are the one of the best examples. So people for the web development, they are choosing Node. And people, okay. many projects, they have converted also from WebSphere web to the Node Node server, and they were uh, because oh. the cost. Uh, it's economical, right? Compared to uh, paying uh, paying some license for the sphere or web logic, that's okay. one advantage. Uh, in real world, we have to do creation of the server on our own. It's like a simple program only. Okay. Configuration also, we have to do express configuration. Okay. Express uh, this is one kind of configuration. Uh, I will show. I will show you one more configuration with Express. That's uh, that's the important uh, topics in the Node.js. Okay. Okay. And what about this one, sir? Uh, like 